Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my top 10 plus a few favorite Zoya nail polishes. I um, I know I do mainly makeup stuff on this channel, but I actually started my love affair with the beauty industry through nail polish. Um, and I still ha I love nail polish. I have a lot of nail polish. But um, I don't really do a lot of nail polish stuff on this channel for whatever reason. Um, so I kind of want to change that a little bit and like add in some, some nail polish videos every now and then, if that's okay. I'm going to start with a sort of top 10 series of Zoya, China Glaze, OPI, um, mainstream brands, and um, probably move into indies in a little while because I love indie nail polish. I actually prefer indies over most mainstream brands, but I do, I do love Zoya and China Glaze. They're my top. They're my they're my babes. So I'm going to uh, talk about the polishes and insert swatches while I'm talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see my top 10, but really 12 <laughs> Zoya nail polishes, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go in color order. And let me preface this by saying I could have picked 30 nail polishes, but I didn't really want to make this video terribly long so I'm going to try to keep it concise and I made myself like narrow it down to 10 and then I was like well I can't leave these out so 12. The first one is one of the pixie dust polishes and this is called Tomoko and this is a beautiful almost like a white gold textured polish. I will say that Zoya Pixie Dust are my favorite textures. I do like the OPI text Liquid Sands as well. I think both lines have discontinued their texture polishes, which is really unfortunate because I love the Zoya Pixies. I know you can still get them on the website, but I think you can. But they are not going to release new ones. But I love Tomoko. It's such a beautiful, just sort of simple, but just lovely color. It's uh, two coats. Um, the texture is very fine, so it's not it's not um, uncomfortable as you are wearing it. Because I'm I'm not one who likes bumps and tech a lot of texture in my regular nail polish. But if I'm wearing a texture nail polish that's supposed to be textured, I'm okay with it. And they're not much more difficult to remove than a regular nail polish. You just hold them. Hold a acetone soaked cotton pad on your nail for a couple extra seconds. So I love this. So this is Tomoko. The next is Zoya's Darcy. This is a bright, like, daffodil <laughs> yellow. I love yellow nail polish. It's hard to find good yellow nail polish because it's such a tricky color. This one has a pretty good formula. It's opaque in two and a half. I usually do three coats, but it's not uh, as streaky on the second coat as most yellows are, probably because it's so bright. Um, but I just, I love this. The next looks like a really kind of boring color, but it's pretty unique. This is Zoya Pepper, and it's it's sort of like Dr. Pepper Red. I mean, that's, how, that's what it reminds me of. It's like a brick red with like a little bit of brown in it. I actually thought this would be really easy to find a duplicate for. I personally have not found one. It's it's a really unique color and it's just beautiful on the nails. This is opaque in two coats and it's just a unique color. I definitely don't have anything exactly like this in my collection, which says a lot because I have a poop load of nail polish, but I love pepper. Um, I'm going to kind of go out of color order and just talk about these three all at once because they're the same finish. And these are, this is Blaze, Aurora, and then the blue one is Dream. These are their Zoya's Scattered Holographics. Why do you not make more of these, Zoya? These are amazing. I need a green in this formula. Stat, like a beautiful emerald green. Um, oh, and they also have uh, Storm. These are gorgeous just beautiful nail polishes and they don't really look like much in the bottle I mean they're pretty in the bottle but when you put them on your nails you're like holy crap this is amazing they are so beautiful 
I don't know why Zoya hasn't done more of these. I am like desperately waiting for them to do more of these in pastels and brights and saturated colors and jewel tones and like everything. I love these. These are amazing. The next one is also, I don't remember what collections any of these are from. I'm like the worst at that. So sorry, but the next one is called Doll, D-A-U-L. And this is a purple with a ton of gold shimmer in it. And I don't even know if you'll be able to see, but can you see the fill line on this? Hold on. Can you see the fill line on this? It's like right here. That's kind of amazing because I don't really have fill lines on a lot of polish. I love this. It wears forever. I think I wore this once for 10 days in a row. And I just had to, like... I mean, my nails were growing out, so I had to paint the, like, fill line on my nails or grow with, you know what I mean. Um, this is amazing. I love this color. It's beautiful. There's just so much gold in here. You're not sure if it's gold with purple or purple with gold, but it's purple with gold. Beautiful. Another favorite, well, these are all favorites, Zoya's Joe is a beautiful cornflower blue with some blue and white like micro 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 shimmer just really pretty perfect for spring and summer it's just like a happy looking polish again opaque in two coats just just really beautiful color next one is another pixie dust and to be honest i could have put the entire range of pixie dust in here because i love them and i have a bunch of them i love the pixie dust but i tried to limit myself to two um, but this is Zoya's Cheetah, and this is a beautiful green with some white gold shimmer. And part of the reason I love this is because this is the polish that I was wearing when I gave birth to my daughter, so it's just very nostalgic, but also it's a beautiful color. And this thing held up through labor and delivery and then like seven days of, you know, being a new mom. And then I finally got four seconds to take off my nail polish but uh it's just a really beautiful color and i love this and i got compliments on this while i was giving birth to my daughter so that was nice another green from zoya is zoya's logan this is a bright emerald green with gold and green shimmer in it just beautiful like it's just beautiful come on and then lastly from zoya is zoya's trixie this is a silver oil um, and it's so bright and so shiny and just really stands out um, and it's it's another that's like opaque in two coats it's just, it's just a great Zoya polish Zoya makes really good nail polish trust me when I say this video could have been 45 minutes long because I could have talked about all the pinks that I didn't include all of the other blues that I didn't include, it could have been much longer, but I had to limit myself. Maybe I'll do a part two later of like top other 10 <laughs> Zoya nail polishes. Uh, let me know your favorite Zoya nail polishes in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.